Welcome back. This is part three of the auction funnel training. And in this section, we are going to look at reverse auction. And it's quite a nice way to generate leads, especially. And you're going to see exactly why. So just like the other two funnels, you're going to have to go and create your site in Cheetah. Make sure you've got your mailing boss email list ready. Now you can see the reverse auction that I've created here is only two pages, very similar to the uh, highest bidder. The only difference is, is this is in reverse. So instead of every time that a person make a bet in the highest bidder, the bid would go up. Now it is going to go down. Now you might ask, why on earth would you do that? It is because this works similar to any landing page where you are giving something away for free so let's say you've had an ebook that you were giving away for free this is the same type of thing yes the product is more valuable absolutely but this is a crazy crazy way of generating leads very quickly and to bring your product to the market and you're going to see as we go through this whole thing exactly how it works so i'm going to just open up these pages it is exactly the same page like we've got in the highest bidder as well as the thank you page so we're going to jump straight into super checkout and create a product so we're going to choose our image and just do it like that for now your product your description and it's physical and we're going to say it's cosmetics next we're going to use stripe us dollars it is an auction and in this case it's going to be reverse the initial product price here now this is now where the fun part starts you don't want to make it too low because you want to make money out of this obviously so let's start with an initial price of let's say $250 because you want to generate a lot of leads and your minimum price decrement you must make it as low as possible because you really want the people to bid as many as possible to get as many leads as possible so you can have it at 20 cents if you like but I'm just leaving it at 50 for now and it says when the auction reaches this price it will be set as finished and the winner will receive the payment link so you don't want to go too low because you still have to cover your costs. So let's say that your, car, your product cost you $20. So the moment it reached that amount, whoever got to that amount is going to win the price or the auction basically. It's going to be ongoing and expiry date. Let's leave it on 15 and we're going to leave it at 1. Let's make it 120 um, about. I think let's leave it 120. No, 120 is too. Let's leave it at 110. And then ongoing, select a page that will open when the participant places the bit. And in this case, we're just going to say thank you for placing your bit. Oh, no, no, we're not going to do that one. Sorry, I've just looked at the wrong place. It's not AdSense. Just skip that, okay? Gonna click next. Gonna click next. Then three step checkout. Use your thank you page, the page where you will sell it, which is the main product. I'm gonna click next. Choose your list, abandoned cart, and next, and next, and next, <laughs> and accept the terms and conditions and create the product. Cool. Now we're going to go grab the links and we've got the checkout URL, copy that one and we're going to go and put the HTML in, iframe, right there, right click, general settings, embed it and apply it. And we're just going to leave it like this. 
and there we go and we hit save and that's fine as you can see the current price is 250 dollars and they're going to start bid to go lower now i would advise that you make a message right here to let the people know that this is fun they should not avoid bidding because that's not where the starting price is that's not what they're going to pay um, make it fun so that they can understand that the more they bid and the more they share this with friends and family the better the chances that they will win this it's also a very good idea to take this and to actually add a share locker to it so if you add a share locker it means that they have to the moment they get to this page they have to go and click and share it to Facebook as well as to like the page before it will open and give them the right to actually make a bit so let's go take a look at what it looks like when we go live go to the website page you're going to scroll down we're going to join the auction and you can see 249.50 and i'm going to bid so it says you are winning the auction so now the next person can go i'm just going to go on the same page and log out as if i'm another person and i'm going to join the auction okay now i have to wait for my code all right so there's the email i'm going to grab the code Gonna go back to the funk to the auction. Confirm. Oh, code is not right. Copy. Paste. Confirm. Join the auction and bid. So you can see what's happening here. So I am now at twenty four nine fifty. The previous person was at twenty four nine fifty. So you can see what's happening right there and it's almost time for this to stop and then it's going to change you can see that it's two seconds and then it's going to be over or oh, oh, 59 seconds actually 59 minutes oh okay i actually thought i've said it longer but that is how it works people is going to keep on bidding keep on bidding until it reaches 20 dollars and then whoever got to that level that is what they're going to pay and they will receive a link in their email telling them that they are the person that won the auction and hopefully by that time you have got lots and lots of leads on your lead generation list now that is the one thing so i'm just going to go out of here because i want to go show you something else that you can also do and i'll just click the leave that section here and go back right here let's go to the apps and we're going to look at share locker right here now share locker is what i explained to you earlier and it really really works great especially with the reverse auction because you're basically creating the pop-up and they have to like and share before they can access the site so i'm just going to show you what it looks like so let's just write here the page they need to like and then we're going to use the same one there And then an image, you need to upload an image. So let's just go grab an image on my file here. Another image, same one. And generate and save. And then it gives you the code, code that you need to copy. And then you're gonna go back to your website and you're going to see you've got site settings right here scroll down in your site settings and the script and we are going to click save i'm going to give it a moment and we've got some success and then let me just close the mailing boss accounts here because i've got a thousand accounts now right here opened up 
and I'm going to close that one and let's go to the website page and you, as you can see it pops up and it's asking you to share they have to like and share if they don't do this then it's not going to open up so let's just click on share so I can show you and I am just going to choose an account I'm just going to leave it at that account I can always delete it and I am going to post it to Facebook and I'm going to like it and there we go you got right through and that is what the share locker is doing with um, the reverse auction it's really a cool tool just remember to use the right images so it's not that big and huge and go through it and I hope that you generate a lot of leads and if you've got questions you guys in this course you guys are welcome to let me know and I will answer them for you bye bye and that is how you would use the share locker with the reverse auction